What is going on, Internet? My name is Lou, and I make Linux videos. Tonight, we're going to be taking a look at Ubuntu's newest release, 14.04 Trusty Tar, long-term support release. So in this video, we're going to cover some new features that have been introduced in this particular release, what you can expect, and whether or not I think you should upgrade if you're currently running an older version of Ubuntu. So let's get right into it. So first and foremost, I mentioned that this is an LTS release, which means it will be supported until April of 2019. So there are many Ubuntu users out there who will only run LTS releases because of their long-term support. So if you're one of those, 1404 uh, it should be right up your alley. Also, of course, with the new release, um, you get all of the newest bug fixes. So um, hopefully the Ubuntu team has squashed a lot of the bugs that were introduced in 13.10. And in 14.04, uh, you'll have a lot more of that stability. And, you know, you have to give Ubuntu credit where credit is due. Their LTS releases are generally pretty solid. I've been running this for quite some time now. And even during the development cycle, stability was quite good. I had a few issues here or there, but that's to be expected. I was, I was running alpha versions of uh, this particular software, but the stability was still quite good. Um, we are not going to see the introduction of Mir in this particular release. We are still using Xorg. Mir is slated to be uh, introduced in the next version, which would be 14.10. So for right now, we're using good old Xorg. Uh, it's been around for about 30 years now, and it's been uh, doing the trick for us thus far. So um, we're going to still be sticking with Xorg in this release. Also, Unity, the Unity interface, is uh, going to still be at version 7. So what you were using in Ubuntu 13.10 is the same version of Unity that we're going to be using here in 14.04. However, there is a preview release of uh, Unity 8 that you can install here in 14.04 to see the new releases, uh, the new features, and, and the new interface that's going to be coming out. But for right now, we're going to be sticking with Unity uh, version 7. So if you haven't already kind of guessed, we're not going to see any new bleeding edge features. And that's part and parcel of what the Ubuntu team normally does with their long-term support releases. And that's kind of a good thing. Because these are going to be supported for the next five years, they don't want to release anything too bleeding edge, which they'll have to work out lots of bugs uh, for an extended period of time. So they're going to stick with what they know to be rock solid uh, and stable. And again... The .10 releases tend to be a little bit more edgy, if you if you want to use that term, and the .04, especially the long-term support releases, tend to be <clears throat> much, much more stable. So we've got GNOME uh, 3.10 packages. A lot of Ubuntu is built on top of GNOME packages, and the packages that it does use are 3.10. Even though GNOME 3.12 has been released, you're not going to see a lot of those incorporated here in the repos. They're built on top of 3.10 packages. However, there is a PPA from the GNOME team that you can use, especially if you're running the uh, uh, GNOME version of Ubuntu, um, you, where you can actually upgrade the packages to 3.12. Uh, let's see here. We've got improved Android support. This mainly comes from the kernel. So I am an Android user. I can plug my Android device into my Linux box here, and uh, I get the f you know full file manager access to my device to be able to browse the internal and external uh, storage. So uh, there has been improved support. In 13.10, it was nowhere near as good as now uh, we have in 14.04, and that's many thanks, uh, to, in fact, to the kernel itself. We've got some new icons. So the GTK theme I'm using here, as well as the icon theme, is actually Numix. If you've watched my previous uh, video, the the one that I did on um, kind of a preview of Ubuntu 1404, uh, this is the same icon theme, the same GTK theme that I used previously. However, the standard uh, Ubuntu theme has some new icons. In fact, if we come over here to the Unity Tweak tool, and I go into the theme, we'll go into icons, we'll set them to actually not default. This is the Unity icon theme. So these are the icons that you should see if you install um, the obviously uh, 1404 release. I am again using the Numix circle icon theme. So we've got some new icons. Uh, we've got a new scale effect uh, for minimize and for maximize here uh, in the Unity bar, the Unity dash. We've got a, a new resize uh, feature. So when you resize the window previously, 
This is what they're calling almost like a live resize, so you can see everything kind of changing uh, as I change the size of the window. Um, before, just kind of had a, a um, an outline, almost as if I used the uh, snap feature. You can see that orange that uh, comes out from the window. That's almost like what you would get in the previous versions, whereas now it's almost like a live resize where you can see everything changing its grid position as I change the size of the window. So that's new. We've got some new anti-alias uh, cornering here, uh, which doesn't seem like it's a big deal, but anti-alias windows now uh, be, are available because of some new GTK3 uh, support and enhancements. Uh, if we go into the volume settings, you'll see now that you can allow the volume to be raised louder than 100%. Uh, I do find that handy, especially when I feel like kind of rocking out to some music uh, and I want my speakers really blasting. I, I can increase the speed louder than 100%. Also, in terms of some new features, if you come into the Appearance tab, you can now change the, side, uh, the size of the Unity icons here in the Unity bar or the Unity launcher um, well below the pixel size where you were uh, able to do it before. So as you can see, I'm all, all the way down here to 16 pixels. And of course, you can go all the way up to 64. I keep it right around 30. That's a good size for me, but that's a new change. Uh, the next one for me is under the behavior feature, or the behavior tab, rather. And that is um, to have the menus for a window in the Windows title bar. I've talked about this in my previous video. For me, this is huge. Uh, I found that the global menu, especially on a large screen, I have a 27-inch monitor, I found myself constantly having to go from one edge of the screen to the next to access the menu for a, a given application or window uh, that I need. So if I'm working on multiple applications but want to quickly access the menu, oftentimes, for instance, if I'm working in my terminal down here and I've got this one menu over here, what I have to do is to access the menu for this particular uh, window, which would be the file manager. I'm working in the terminal, and then I've got to swing my mouse all the way up here, um, tap on the window, and then go into the global menu. Oftentimes, what I'll do is uh, then go back down here to start working in the terminal, and then I'll need to access the terminal's menu. Now I'm coming all the way back up to the top panel here to access the terminal menu if I need that. It's just a lot of going from one edge of the screen to the next. So to have this feature, it seems like it's a really small thing, um, but for me, it's it's a huge feature. It's, it's uh, amazing in terms of my workflow, being able to get work done in Unity. So I'm glad they've introduced that. You can always switch it back uh, to the menu bar or the top panel. But for me, I'm going to definitely keep it in the window title bar. Now, for those of you who were not a huge fan of the online integration or the privacy issues that existed in previous versions of Ubuntu or of Unity, uh, I hate to disappoint you, but those are still here. So uh, if you're here in the, the, this particular setting, um, you can go into security and privacy. Um, so files and applications, you can turn off um, the ability for the system to remember the, your accessed files um, or chat logs and et cetera. Also search, uh, you can disable the online search results. So basically uh, what you're accessing on your computer is not being pinned to Ubuntu servers and then filtering it through online search results and so on um, and giving you kind of advertisements or shopping suggestions on your PC. So that can be turned off. Um, so for those of you who didn't really like that, unfortunately, um, that still exists. There's a faster um, lock locking of the screen. So if you hit the super plus L key, you can quickly lock your screen now. Um, and we've already talked about the live window resizing as well. So, you know, those are really the big features, if you want to call it those, for Ubuntu 14.04. It's an LTS release, so again, it's going to be focused on stability. It's going to be focused on um, be providing you a rock-solid experience because it is going to be supported for the next five years. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, for those of you who like the long-term support, those of you who like the stability and you're not necessarily concerned with the bleeding edge features, 1404 is going to be a great home for you. I think that 1404 is a great upgrade if you're running Ubuntu 13.10. Unity 7, which is what is used in 13.10, is still present and uh, here. 
Um, you're still using Xorg, which you use in 13.10 as well, so you're not um, changing over to Mir at all. So if you're a 13.10 user, I think you should definitely upgrade to 14.04 because end of life for 13.10 is going to be in July of this year. So if you're using Ubuntu 13.10 or any derivative of it, unless the derivative plans to support uh, the distribution any longer, which most of them will not, your 13.10 support is going to end in just a few months. So you'll no longer be receiving security updates or bug fixes from the Ubuntu team for uh, version 13.10. So it's a great reason to upgrade. I think the stability, even in beta and even in alpha, was fairly good. <clears throat> and again, to credit Ubuntu where credit's due, their LTS releases are pretty solid. So I definitely give this um, version of Ubuntu two thumbs up in terms of stability. They've added a few new features that make it very usable. Admittedly for me, um, I have to use the this particular tool here, the Unity Tweak tool. This is what really makes Unity and Ubuntu usable for me. It allows me to change certain things uh, that otherwise would really frustrate me and annoy me. Um, but this right here makes the Unity desktop in Ubuntu in its current state very usable and enjoyable for me. So for those of you who may want to know more about this particular tool, I can do a video on that. But that's my thoughts on Ubuntu 14.04. I think it's going to be a solid long-term support release. Uh, I'm excited at some of the, you know, what may seem to be small features, but common sense features that have been introduced in this particular release. Uh, if you want to see more videos on Ubuntu 14.04, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And until next time, I hope you enjoy your new uh, installation of Ubuntu 14.04. We'll talk to you guys later.